Like when no nobody can fucking drop any names anymore. Nobody can fucking call anybody out. Like when somebody has a problem with somebody, they don't even say their fucking name. They're too scared to start any drama. They're fucking pussies about it. And I know I'm sitting here. I, I'm I'm recording. I'm talking to my fucking computer screen, talking. You know, hiding in the safety of my own home, huh? calling other people pussies. Go to your fucking room and stand in the corner. No dinner for you tonight. Really, Seahorse Puncher? Really? You have to block me on Twitter? Go to your fucking room and stand in the corner. This is really funny. You know, I, I find this really hilarious, uh, Seahorse Puncher, because a few months ago, maybe like two months ago, you did upload a video calling out every single Call of Duty YouTuber, how you said that, uh, you know, our best class setups are fucking boring and our gameplays are boring, that we take YouTube too serious and also that we're pussies because, you know, we don't call anybody out, not even by name. If we do have a problem with some other YouTuber, we never calling them out by name because we're pussies, right? And guess what happened? I called you out on fucking Twitter and you ended up blocking me. Really? I didn't know you were talking about yourself in that whole five minute video, to be honest. When somebody has a problem with somebody, they don't even say their fucking name. They're too scared to start any drama. And they're fucking pussies about it. Pussies about it. Pussies about it. So anyways, moving on from Seahorse Puncher's sex change, let's talk about his recent activity. So recently he ended his shoutout series, which pretty much just takes a random YouTuber, he gives a shoutout to them and they'll grow a little bit and gives them a little bit of subscribers and views and they'll pretty much get excited and stay subscribed to his channel. And he recently found out that most of these people who got a shout out and also most of these people who got a subscriber to his channel are not even watching his recent videos about Call of Duty. And guess what? He's now upset because he's not getting enough, you know, view time in his videos. So what they do, they have a thing called an algorithm, and this algorithm uses, you know, stuff like stats to measure how good your video is and how well it is perceived. Now, when I do a shout out series where I say, you know, stay active in my videos and you know, drop a like and comments and all that, people will actually, you know, you know, that'll get you a lot of likes and comments and views. But what happens is people will actually click on the video and they all they want is a shout out so that they will click on the video and they will watch for two seconds, you know, drop a like and then they'll leave a comment not even related to the video and then they'll leave which drives down the viewer retention and makes it like really super bad which signals to YouTube that it's not a very good video so then what YouTube does is they don't really promote the video well so well no shit dumbass you fucking knew what you were gonna get into to begin with First of all, you started this subscriber shout out Sunday thing because you wanted to use them. You wanted to use your own subscribers for your own personal gain. I mean, who doesn't want to grow here in YouTube, of course, but not in that desperate way. I don't think that's the right idea. I don't think that's the right way. There's other ways you can grow your channel. I don't know, maybe by uploading fucking content and actually get them entertaining by the right way instead of doing this bullshit gimmick. And you see, your gimmick is done. Your gimmick is up. What are you going to do now? Go back to your old Call of Duty content, because I'm pretty sure you did talk trash to every single Call of Duty YouTuber out there. Huh. That's funny, man. I find that super fucking funny. It, it just it just hurts me, you know? I mean, yes, I get more subscribers and views, but it just hurts me more in the long run. Now, so, you know, what I was doing was just not helping me at all. It was actually damaging. It was actually hurting my channel by doing that. So... But why, Seahorse Puncher? Why? Why are you canceling this series? I thought you wanted the community to grow, you know? I thought you wanted small channels, small underrated channels to grow in the community and replace all those big YouTubers, those scummy, greedy YouTubers out there, and you want these small YouTubers to become the best. I thought you wanted that. Oh, wait. Why'd you cancel this series? It's because, oh yeah, you, you, it wasn't getting you anything. It wasn't getting you any profit. It wasn't getting you the views that you wanted. To me, that sounds fucking two-faced right there. How can people still be subscribed to this fucking channel? I don't know. But yet, there's people there. They must be brainwashed hardcore. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with these people. But I'm pretty sure th their minds are not developed full enough to understand what's going on in front of their faces. Because right now, I can tell they're being used by this YouTuber. So to my small YouTubers out there that are watching this video, stay away from these channels. Yes, you might get a little bit of views out of them. Yes, you might get a few subscribers out of them, but is it worth it? I don't think so. You making them grow a lot more than you because they're already doing all these spam kinds of things in their freaking comment sections. You know, in all your videos, I'm pretty sure you have YouTubers saying this, you know, subscribe to my channel because I'm doing this shout out Sunday. And guess how many times have they repeated that message? A hundred times in their whole fucking day. 
Which brings me back into this comment right here. How many times do you think this guy has spammed this same sentence over and over again in a single day? As you can see, he's uploading some, you know, pretty much innocent Call of Duty videos. I mean, despite attacking the whole Call of Duty community, he's uploading some Call of Duty videos. Wow, man, just just wow how can you fucking say that after you insulted every single one of the you know the styles of call of duty commentary out there how can you go back so i'm telling you guys do not believe these kinds of people they are two-faced they're just gonna stab you in the back even if you try to message them back again about any kind of giveaway or any kind of uh you know shout out they are not gonna reply because they're gonna forget about you on the next day so small YouTubers out there, watch out. Do not believe any kind of you know things these people say. So this is pretty much proof. He decided to cancel this series because he wasn't getting enough out of it. He wasn't getting enough you know view retention apparently. Is that a freaking excuse not to help out the community? Really? That's fucking coward, man. That's a fucking coward move. So anyways, that is it, guys. That's all I wanted to talk about today. I'm not asking you to hate this guy. I'm just saying the news. Too scared to start any drama. They're fucking pussies about it. And I know I'm sitting here. I, I'm I'm recording. I'm talking to my fucking uh, computer screen, talking. You know, hiding so my safety in my own home. the corner. No dinner for you tonight. No Cadbury soup for you tonight. Because your mom is fucking poor.